So we're looking at the May 2023 CXC Mathematics exam, question four. Okay, so we have the first part. We want to find the value of x, which makes the function undefined. What is this value of x that we input in the f function so that this function becomes undefined, which means that we have a number on top, right? Number on top divided by zero. And when that's the case, we're gonna get net positive infinity. What's a positive number? divided by zero is positive infinity. And of course, this cannot. This is not an exact number. This is not a number, right? So you get an error in your calculator. So this is what we mean by undefined. We won't be able to define that value. Okay, so what are we going to do in order to find that value of x that will make the denominator zero? And once that's the case, divided by zero is undefined. So we simply take the denominator of x plus two, equate it to zero and find x. We subtract two on both sides, and so that will give us x equal negative two. And that's it. x being equal to negative two will make this function undefined. How is that so? You may ask. Well, think about it. I'm gonna just show you this, okay? I'm not, this, this answer is done here. So if we do this, um, f of negative two, and put three divided by, and put, negative two where x is, put out a plus two, then we'll get three over negative two plus two is zero. And this, we won't be able to define, put a value here, right? That's just positive infinity. If it's a negative number, then we'll see a negative infinity. But this is undefined, all right? So instead of this, I can actually put undefined. Okay, so they would never ask you to calculate this though. All right, so this is just checking our solution. So the value, the the value of x for which the function is undefined is x equal negative two. Let's do the next one, g of one quarter. So this is dealing with the g function. So I'm gonna look for the g function, which is right here. And I'm gonna input the value that they gave us to work with. So we're inputting one quarter where x is. x represent the input value the value in the domain, a quarter of four. If I divide four into four parts, or find a quarter of it, I'm gonna get one. That's one minus five, that's gonna be negative four. All right, and we can check that with your calculator. In other words, four times a quarter, is we want four once, four, one times four is four, and 44 is once. But you don't need to do that, just simply use a calculator, or you can just figure it out from multiplication easily. All right, h of negative three, which means three goes into the what? H function. So I'm gonna take the H function, the expression of that for sure. I'm gonna have X squared plus one. And where X is, I'm gonna put negative three. So negative three squared plus one, which equal nine plus one, which is equal to 10. So square negative three means what? Negative three times negative three, which gives a positive nine. Okay, next we're gonna look at f of f of zero. So let me just clear this screen so we can have a nice view of what the solution is. Okay, so we want f of f of zero. Let's go back to this. To find f of f of zero, what we can do, we can find f of zero first and then we input that value in f. So let's find f of zero. To find f of zero, we need the function for f, which is what? This. So let's focus on this. So I'm gonna input zero where x is. So that'll be equal to three, as we're seeing here, divided by the input value plus two. What's the input value? Zero. So that's zero plus two, so three over two, which is equal to 1.5. Now, this is not my solution. Remember, our goal is to find f of f of zero. We only found f of zero. So I'm gonna replace f of zero here with the value we found for f of zero. What is f of zero? 1.5 or three, three halves. Let's use 1.5. So now we wanna find f of 1.5. So let's deal with the f function again is three over x plus two. I'm gonna replace the x with the input value of 1.5, right? We find an f of 1.5. 
Remember 1.5 here is what? F of zero. So we're just really finding F of F of zero because 1.5 is F of zero. So F of F of zero is equal to three over the input value of 1.5 plus two. That's gonna give us three over two plus 1.5, that's 3.5. And using your calculator, what value do you get? Um, well, let me just use um, my, let's do this quickly. So we have three divided by 3.5, correct? We're just same as saying three divided by three and a half. And uh, you can write this as a make improper fraction, two, three, six plus one, seven over two. We don't like to work with division, so we're gonna change that to multiplication and reciprocate the divisor, so two over seven. And two threes is gonna give us six over seven. And so F of 1.5, we say one, what is 1.5 again? 1.5 is really F of zero. So F of F of zero is equal to six sevenths, which is what they ask us for, right? Okay, let's look at the next one. Now we have g of h of x. Again, look at the function or whatever we have to the right and put it in the function to the left. So we input in h of x in g. This is what we call a composite function since we have a function in a function. So it's what the one to the right in the one to the left. So we're going backwards. So it's actually h goes into g. So to put h in g, we need to know what g is, correct? So we can put H in it. So we're going to put H in G. H in G. So this is G, and let's put H in it. And H goes in where the input variable is. So we're going to put 4 times. We're going to replace this X with the input, and the input is H, right? But what is H really? H of X is x squared plus one. So over here is always the expression we're gonna put, x squared plus one minus five. Remember this is actually h. Remember h is equal to x squared, minus, x squared plus one. So over here goes the symbol for, for the, that function. Over here goes the expression for that function. Simplifying, since we have a plus, when you have a plus or minus in bracket for binomial or any polynomial, and we have a, a number directly outside the bracket with no operation, we just multiply using distributive law. And that will give us 4x squared plus 4, 4 times x squared and 4 times 1. Give us 4x squared plus 4 respectively. And bring back the minus 5 here. Next, we're going to simplify. We have the x squared, so we put back 4x squared. Now what is 4 minus 5? 4 minus 5, that's actually negative 1. Because we have opposite signs, we get 1. And we have a big number than... Well, in terms of 5 and 4, ignoring the signs, 5 is bigger, so we keep the sign in front of it, so that's minus 1. So that's the solution. Remember, you can always use a calculator in your exam to make it easier on yourself. Okay, that was B. Let's look at C. Now again, to the right of this function, we have negative 2. So we're going to input, we always go left, so we're going to input negative 2 in G inverse. This means inverse, okay? Negative 1 simply means inverse. In this case, since we have a negative 2, our answer should be a value, right? Once we have a value as an input, then our answer should be an, a value too. In this case, what we have as an input here? We have an x, so our answer should involve x, not a value, okay? See, we have values in all of these. So all of these would have returned to us values as our solution. So hopefully that was clear. So since we have a a value here, a number, then our answer is going to be a number. Now, if it's negative 2 in G inverse, we do not have G inverse given to us. So this will help us to get G inverse, correct? So there are several ways to get the inverse. We could simply look at the expression, and we have a minus 5 hanging, so we can say we always start with x, by the way, always start with x. And what we're going to do with x? Since we have a minus 5, we're going to add 5. The one that's closest to it will move last. So we're left with 4x. And since we are multiplying x by 4, we do the reverse, which is a divide, but we do that to everything. We divide by 4. And this is g inverse of x. The next step is to input this value here, where x is. Go input 2. 
because remember we're trying to find g inverse of 2, which will be equal to where x is, I put negative 2, plus 5 over 4, and this will give us what? 5 minus 2 is 3 over 4. So that's 3 quarters. And that's the solution. All right, so you can now always um, message in the comment section. And if you have any questions, you can always email me. It's Tony Lennon 2016 at gmail.com. All right, any questions pertaining to your mathematics exam?